This is the NHS R&D lab. Today we're going to take a look at the laboratory machines that we use to test wheels. So when we get in a, a batch of samples, let's say uh, five or six different uh, formulas of urethane, we'll run them through a gamut of tests here in the laboratory to find out which ones perform the best on the machines. From there, then we take those and hand them out to our professional riders to get their personal input and evaluation so we, as a company, make the best decisions on what we're going to use for our final production that goes out into the market. Yeah, Kyle. My name's Gavin DeNike. I am the team manager for Santa Cruz Skateboards, Richter Wheels, and Mob Grip Tape. Working with the NHS R&D lab and the Richta Wheels team, it's uh, really interesting to see the correlation between the real life results of the streets and the lab results. Now let's take a look at those machines. This is the wheel urethane flat spot machine. It does just that. It flat spots a test wheel. In this test, a sample wheel is mounted with two bearings placed into the dropping carriage and the wheel is tightened so it cannot spin during the test. The carriage and wheel is lifted 11 feet to the top of the machine, locked into place, then the operator can begin the test. The wheel slides 46 inches down to the bottom of the machine. The wheel is then removed from the machine, carried over to the dial indicator station, and the flat spot is measured in one one thousandth of an inch. The results are averaged to give a flat spot rating in the database. This is the wheel abrasion machine. This measures the overall wear and durability of a wheel. A wheel is marked and weighed, mounted with bearings, and then placed in a machine holder. The holder is set at a 30 degree angle to the direction of travel. The wheel and holder then rests on a 30 grit abrasive sanding belt. The test has the wheel scrubbing along the belt for 4,000 revolutions for hard wheels, 6,000 revolutions for soft wheels. That's the equivalent to a half mile or three quarter mile long power slide. On completion of the test, the bearings are removed and the wheel is once more weighed. The difference in weight is added to the database and the percentage of mass removed is recorded. This is the automated wheel concentricity tester. Every wheel made goes through the tester to ensure the wheels roll smooth and without wobbles. The wheels are placed in a large hopper and one by one each wheel falls into the placement carousel. Then they're rotated into the measuring fixture. Each wheel is then slowly rotated two times and a probe contacts the wheel and measures to the one thousandth of an inch. Any wheel which might fail is ejected into the recycle box. All passing wheels move to the washing, cutting, and then packaging. This is the wheel dynamometer. The wheel dynamometer can test both the speed of the wheel and the speed of a set of test bearings. A test wheel is mounted with the standardized Indy 7 bearing set used for all urethane speed tests. The wheel is placed into the machine. The machine slowly ramps the speed up to 300 RPM. When the set speed is reached, the computer releases the drive motor and immediately begins to count the revolutions of the massive grinding wheel as it slowly coasts to a stop. That revolution information is fed into a database and the result is a distance traveled along the surface of the wheel during the test. The wheels are tested three times and the average of the three tests become the speed rating for that wheel. Keep an eye out for more NHS R&D lab videos where we test our products against the competition.